Uh, welcome to all. Uh, in this session, we are going to learn about a parallel equation for a polar curves. In the previous uh, sessions, we are discussing about the polar curves. In that polar curves, we are learn angle between radius vector and the tangent. How, if two curves are intersect orthogonally, and the related problems are unlearned. Today's class, we are going to learn the pedal equation of a polar curve. Okay. First, we have to understand what is pedal equation. If an equation involving the P and R, there is no angle present here, no? an equation involves P and R is called as a pedal equation. This is the main definition of a pedal equation. Here, we are going to eliminate the angles. So, one important theorem is there now, the length perpendicular from pole to tangent, that is the way I am going to prove now. Equation, it is a, an equation in wall, equation in wall, P and R called pedal equation. So, we are going to derive a very important theorem that is the length perpendicular from pole to tangent. So, simply they ask in the examination prove with usual notations like that. Prove with usual notation, with usual notation 1 by PR square equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus 1 by r dr by d theta whole square. Or sometimes they ask 1 by r square equal to 1 plus 1 by r square dr by d theta whole square. So many form is there now. So general form I am writing here now. Okay. So we are going to proving this one. So as usual what we are uh, learn uh, in the previous classes to find out the length, uh, angle between radius vector and the tangent, the, the same thing we will have to use the figure, but the continuation will be, I want to draw a perpendicular line from pole to tangent, okay. So I have to see in the two dimensional equation, this is the plane, I mark a one point, this is your uh, polar curve r equal to f of theta, this is your polar curve. Then after that if mark a point, p of r comma theta, it is a radius vector, then I am going to join to the origin, this is the origin we call as an O. Okay. Then after that we draw a tangent, this is theta. It is a phi and also phi, its an angle is xi. So here they asked you the length perpendicular, finding the length perpendicular from pole to tangent. Just I am going to extend this tangent, I call this as a point some m and draw a perpendicular line from pole to this tangent and call this one as a small p, it is a notation. This is your radius vector small r. This is the figure uh, we are going to write down here now. Then after that, you have to consider a right angle triangle. That is in P, M, O. So it is a make an angle of 90 degree. From right angle triangle, from right angled triangle, that is in P, M, O. It is a P, M, O or O, M, P, whatever you can call. O, M, P or P, M, P. It is a right angle triangle. So what is the sine theta we are getting from that? It is a sine phi. So I wanted to sine phi now. Sine phi equal to, it is an opposite by hypotenuse. The opposite angle is O, M. O, M, the new divided by the hypotenuse will be coming here now. O, P. The length of O, M we simply call as a small p. Then after that, 
if you make a cross multiplication of this now we have p equal to r into sin phi so one of the term will be getting now then after that after getting these things from right angle triangle i have getting a sin phi then we get p equal to r sin phi so now i'm going to prove this one if you're going to proving of this one now make a squaring on both side i'm going to make a squaring on both side and simply if squaring on both side squaring both side what we get now here p square it should be equal to squaring on both side then become r square then sin square phi no squaring of the term will be obtained then after that i wanted to 1 by p just you take the reciprocal of this function taking reciprocal what is the reciprocal of this 1 by p square 1 by r square then 1 by sin square phi you know that 1 by sin square we can simply write down as a cosecant square phi so that one we can write down like that 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square into cosecant square phi so using your trigonometric relation i am going to write down cosecant square in terms of cosine cot that is 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square it simply write down as 1 plus cot square phi this is clear first you squaring then take the reciprocal then 1 by sin square writing as a cosecant square the cosecant square is 1 plus cot square we know that the length perpendicular from pole to tangent we know the formula what is that formula that is 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus it is 1 by r dr by d theta whole square the cot phi is the length perpendicular from pole to tangent sir sir not length perpendicular from pole to tangent it is an angle between radius vector and the tangent so its cot square phi is 1 by r dr by d theta whole square it's clear make a simplification of this 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square into 1 plus the simplification of this 1 by r square into dr by d theta whole square what they were asking here the desired results are obtained sometimes some expansion form is there asked to you so that's why i am going to expansion of this r 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r power 4 dr by d theta whole square so this is the results uh, we are getting a padal equation that is a length perpendicular from pole to tangent sometimes this equation reduces in different form also just you take a one note what happens if i am taking u equal to 1 by r if i am taking u equal to 1 by r if we differentiate this one with respect to theta then we have du by d theta it is minus 1 by r square into du by d theta whole square it's minus 1 by r square into differentiation of this one r is dr by d theta taking u equal to 1 by r then differentiation this one with respect to theta that is do u du by d theta the r differentiation is minus 1 by r square then dr by d theta if we make a squaring on both side we get du by d theta whole square negative become positive after making a squaring both side this become 1 by r power 4 dr by d theta whole square now i'm going to substitute this in this equation if you call this as a star now i'm going to substitute this in star the star becomes 
1 by p square should be equal to, if you call this one as u square plus, if you're taking u as an 1 by r, this become u square plus du by d theta. You can also another form to write the parallel equation in this form also. Okay, is clear? So this is the a derivation, we're getting a length perpendicular from pole to tangent. So here in this equation, so what is the main uh, thing to say it is a pedal equation, uh, equation should containing only P and R is called as a pedal equation. Again, so this is the uh, derivation we get this one. So after learning this, now we are going to solve some problems. How to form a pedal equation? Okay, first you have to understand the procedure to form a, a pedal equation. Okay, so you have to remember the working procedure. Working procedure to find pedal equation. That is PR equation. We call simply PR equation. The first procedure you have to take a given polar curve R equal to f of theta for a polar curve, for a polar curve r equal to f of theta, we should eliminate the value of phi. So that means we have to find out the value of phi. After find outing the value of phi, you should have to put in this equation p equal to r into sin phi. What the given curve, polar curve, you should have to take this polar curve and simplify it by using the concept of uh, uh, length uh, what is that uh, angle between radius vector, vector and the tangent using that you have to extract the value of phi after obtaining the value of phi you have to substitute in this equation p equal to r sin phi if phi are getting very easily they can use this formula sometimes if it doesn't get the value of phi directly in that case you have to use this formula for pedal equation 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square then 1 plus 1 by r square into dr by d theta whole square. Okay, if getting it directly the phi value, you can use for finding the pedal equation, use this relation. Sometimes it does not get the value of phi directly, in that case we can use this formula 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square 1 plus 1 by r square into dr by d theta whole square. This is the main procedure. Okay. So, this is the procedure we have to follow to solve as, or to find out the pedal equation that is PR equation. The equation machine should contain only P and R is called as a pedal equation. The main thing is here we are going to eliminate the angle theta. Okay. So, now I am going to see some problems uh, how to form a pedal equation. The form a pedal equation is problems. Form pedal equation or simply PR equation. PR equation from the following. Curves. The first one I am taking this one. The first problem, first example, it is R times of A into 1 plus cos theta. So, this is the first problem they given. So, our duty has to make to find out the value of phi. If say is a pedal equation, the equation should contain P and R. So, as usual in the uh, uh, last class problems, that means we are going to find out the angle between radius vector and the tangent, same method we have to apply here now. So, first uh, taking log on both sides for this function, taking log 
on both sides. If you're taking log on both sides, this becomes log R. Should be the product of two function is there. Now it is log A plus then logarithm of 1 plus cos theta. Okay. Now differentiate with respect to theta. This become 1 by R. dr by d theta should be equal to this become constant function 0. Then differentiation of this one is minus sin theta then all divided by 1 plus cos theta. Okay. Now we can write this as, as a cot phi because the, this is the angle between radius vector and the tangent. It is cot phi. Then I am going to extract the value of phi. I am going to reduce this function in terms of cot or maybe tan. So use the formula. The trigonometric ratio is an half angle sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 then all divided by 2 times of cos square theta by use the formula. Now this 2 and 2 will be cancelled. Cosine and 1 cosine will be cancelled. And finally we have cot phi equal to it is a minus times of sin theta by 2 then all divided by cos theta by 2. So we know that cot phi should be equal to it is a minus times of tan theta. Now I am going to convert the tan in terms of cot by using an allied angles. This is cot phi should be equal to, can I write this in this form 90 plus theta by 2. It is the second quadrant. Sin is only the positive, the other thing functions are the negative. Write on this cot of 90 plus theta by 2. Now cancellation of this, so phi is 90 plus theta by 2. Now get the angle of phi, where directly we get the value of phi. For the pedal equation, once you are getting the value of phi, then use the pedal equation formula. We know that for pedal equation, for pedal equation, P equal to R into sin phi. Okay. Then P should be equal to R into sin of the phi value you have to write down here 90 plus theta by 2. Now we get P equal to R into what is the value of this sin 90 plus theta by 2 is cos theta by 2 using the allied angles. The second quadrant sin positive the function cannot will be only the change but sin cannot be changed. Then it becomes cos theta by 2. So, in the beginning I told you, if you say it is a PR equation, it must and should be containing P and R. But in this equation, some angle is there now, cos theta by 2 is there. I am going to remove this cos theta by 2, otherwise we cannot say it is a pedal equation. If you say pedal equation, it is equation, must and should containing only P and R. Okay. Now, P equal to if you want to elimination of this one of cos theta by 2, use your given equation. What is the given equation here? So, just I am uh, writing here from given equation r equal to a times of 1 plus cos theta. Using this relation, you get the value of cos theta by 2. Okay. Uh, r by a should be equal to 1 plus cos theta. Is it clear? r by a should be equal to 1 plus cos theta. We can write down 2 cos square theta by 2. Or simply r by 2a is cos square theta by 2. Okay. So we know the value of cos square theta by 2. But we have a value of cos theta by 2. If you squaring both sides of this, what we get now? 
If we squaring both sides, we get P square equal to R square into cos square theta by 2. Now substitute the value of cos square theta by 2. What is that cos square theta by 2? It is an R square into R by 2A. If we make a cross multiplication, 2A into P square equal to R power 3. CF. In this equation, there is no angle. This equation is containing only P and R along with constant. No problem about the constant. Simply say, an equation is said to be a PR equation. It should be containing only P and R. This is the required pedal equation. So, this is the required pedal equation. Or simply, you can write it. So, this is the way, uh, this is the procedure to find out the pedal equation. Okay. So, I am going to some, solve another problem. The second problem, same, form the pedal equation or simply we call PR equation from the following curve. R power m equal to A power m into cos m theta plus sin m theta. R power m equal to A power m cos m theta plus sin m theta. Okay. Now, as usual, solution, I am taking log on both sides, taking log on both sides. First, we are taking the log on both sides. So, now I am going to write it directly now. M into log R will be obtained, should be equal to M into log A plus, it is a logarithm of, cos m theta plus sin m theta. This is the equation. We obtain. Now differentiate with respect to theta. Now it comes in simplified form. Then we directly go for differentiation with respect to theta. Now log r is 1 by r dr by d theta should be equal to, this is a entirely a constant term, the differentiation of constant term with respect to theta, any variable, the function they become 0. Then differentiation of this first function differentiation plus, it is cos m theta plus sin m theta, then inside the function, minus m sin m theta plus m cos m theta. Okay. Now take down m as a common factor here now. We get m into, so for this one, we write down as a cot phi will be equal to taking m as a common factor. Oh, we can also taking cos m theta as a common factor as well and good. If cos m theta, if you take a common factor, both numerator and denominator, this become 1 minus of instead of cos, you can take in a sign now. Sin m theta, this become first I am writing this one. Uh, this is uh, if you take a common factor, that is in cot m theta, then minus of 1, then all divided by, again we can take a common factor of uh, m sin m theta, this become 1, again if you take a common factor, only this is one, sin m theta, I have to take a common factor, that become cot m theta plus 1. Now cancellation of these two and these two, cot phi should be equal to, now use the formula in terms of cot, this is called 45 degree plus m theta. Now cancellation of this, we get the value of phi is 
45 plus m theta. Now you directly get the value of phi. So after getting this, now I have to apply this phi in the pedal equation. We know that, we know that pedal equation for polar curve. P equal to R times of sin phi. Okay. Now use this one. P equal to R into sin phi value that is 45 plus m theta. Now for the parallel equation for the polar curve we are used P equal to R sin phi because why I am taking this formula we get the phi value directly that is n phi equal to 45 plus m theta. Now substitution for that we get p equal to r into sin 45 plus m theta. So if we say the pedal equation what the main procedure is we are going to eliminate the value of m theta. Now expand this using a sin a plus b formula. Now use sin a plus b formula. What is that? sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Use this formula. Your a value is 45 and b value is m theta. Sin 45 into cos m theta plus cos 45 into sin m theta. Okay. We know the value of cos 45 and sin 45. The value of cos 45 and sin 45 value is 1 by root 2 or into this is cos m theta divided by 1 by root 2 in place of sin 45 you put 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 into sin m theta. From these to take a common factor of 1 by root 2 outside we have cos m theta plus sin m theta. Now, we are going to eliminate this very easily by using the substitution of a given problem. What is the given problem? See here. r power m equal to a power m cos m theta plus sin m theta. This is the substitution we have to use here now. In place of cos m theta plus sin m theta, we simply write down r power m divided by a power m. So, here root 2 into p should be equal to, we have to use this one, r power m divided by a power m. If we make a cross multiplication, this will give us root 2 p a power m should be equal to r power m plus 1. So now see here, in this equation there is no angle theta is there now. So this is called a pedal equation, an equation which involves p and r called as a pedal equation. Is this clear? Okay, to solve now. What is an r power n? Should be equal to a power n cos n theta plus b power n sin n theta. So as usual using the same logarithmic form uh, equations then apply it then you have to extract the value of phi. taking log on both sides. It is n into log or should be equal to n into sorry it is in logarithm of a power n cos n theta plus b power n sin n theta. Now differentiate this one differentiate with respect to 
theta. Now it becomes n into 1 by r dr by d theta. a power n cos n theta b power n sin n theta. It is minus n into a power n sin n theta plus n into b power n cos n theta. Now take down n as a common factor here now. So n into a cot phi value should be equal to minus a power n sin n theta plus b power n cos n theta then all divided by a power n cos n theta plus b power n sin n theta. Finally, you get the value of cot phi is minus a power n sin n theta plus b power n cos n theta then all divided by a power n cos n theta plus b power n sin n theta. See here, in this problem we cannot extract the phi value directly. If you are doing a simple, it is highly impossible for doing a simplification of these to extract the value of phi to make this equation in terms of cot. Suppose if instead of bn you have an an, it is very easy for doing that. Here then different constant will be obtained. So that is why we cannot use p equal to r sin phi to extract the pedal equation. In that case, instead of that we are using the other formula is there now. Now, for pedal equation, use this formula 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square or maybe like that 1 plus 1 by r dr by d theta square. Your cot phi is simply we can also 1 by r dr by d theta. So simply you can write down 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square 1 plus cot square phi. So instead of this you put this one b power n cos n theta minus a power n sin n theta then all divided by a power n cos n theta plus b power n sin n theta. We make a whole square of this. Now apply the power for these two functions then take an LCM and make a simplification work. 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square into now take an LCM by applying this a power n cos n theta b power n sin n theta whole square plus b power n cos n theta minus a power n sin n theta whole square then all divided by a power n cos n theta plus b power n sin n theta whole square. So here apply this power to these two function then make an LC, take an LCM we get the equation in this form. Now we take a substitution for this one by using a given function it is an a power n cos n theta then b power n sin n theta. Use this relation instead of this we are putting a r power n and expand this one by a plus b whole square then a minus b whole square for make a simplification work. It is 1 by p square equal to 1 by r square. Now expand this one by using your a plus b whole square formula. 
and instead of this we putting here this one r power n whole square okay so now expand this one by using a plus b whole square what we get now a power 2 n cos square n theta plus b power 2 n sin square n theta plus 2 times of a power n b power n cos n theta into sin n theta plus there again the expansion of this one b power 2 n cos square n theta plus a power 2 n sin square n theta minus 2 times of a power n b power n sin theta cos theta See here, the positive and negative terms cancelled here. From these two, take a common factor of cos square and theta. The other two, you take a common factor of sin square and theta. Just you take a common factor of a power two n and b power two n from respective terms. We get like this. One by p square equal to one by r square. Now take a common factor from these two. What do we get now here? A power two n one is there now. One more a power two n is there now here. If we take a common factor of a power two n and a power two n from these two, a power two n we get cos square n theta plus sin square n theta. In the other equation, if you take a b power 2n, again we're getting a cos square n theta plus sin square n theta. Then all divided by then r power 2n. We know the result of this one. You put it one. The identity is of a trigonometry. One by r square into a power 2n into one. B power 2n into 1, then r power 2n. Then 1 by p square should be equal to a power 2n, b power 2n divided by 2n plus. 2. Or if we make a cross multiplication of this work, r power 2n plus 2 equal to p square into a power 2n, then b power. so this is the required solution for this particular polar curve okay so thank you for watching this video